When I started working on iMedia Patch Bay, I had just switched from a computer-based live rig back to real hardware because I missed the experience of adjusting my sounds with real knobs instead of a computer mouse. But I couldn't find a way to make my independent keyboards and sound expanders act more like one consistent workstation. Creating splits and layers wasn't really possible because none of my keyboards are real MIDI master keyboards and I always had to switch each of my devices to the next program before playing the next song, which can be really stressful during a gig. At about that time, I happened to get an iPad, and as a developer, I really love it because it's such a nice platform to bring software solutions to non-computer environments. And when I discovered the Iconic Media Interface, I knew that this was true for music equipment as well. And so I created iMIDI Patch Bay, which is a MIDI routing app that allows me to assign sounds to key ranges on my keyboards. I can also use the controllers of one keyboard to control the other keyboard. And that's really nice because now, for example, I need only one sustain pedal to control all of my keyboards and I can deactivate or activate it for all of them independently. iMIDI Patch Bay makes my keyboard setup a lot more flexible and easier to handle, especially the setlist feature which allows me to select settings with one touch and then all my keyboards configure immediately. The iConnect MIDI interface is a perfect companion to iMIDI Patch Bay because it's the only one with so many MIDI ports, which lets you connect up to four keyboards directly to your iPad. It's quite solid, it can be mounted on a rack, so I think it's perfect for the stage.